Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to the Alfred Dunhill Championship 2019 here at Old Course St Andrews, which is the oldest course in the world. We are going to be playing this on very hard difficulty. Hopefully the AI is going to put up a challenge. We are off the blue tees, which are the longest. Pin set number one. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speeds medium fast, and everything is left in the hands of the golf and gods, as always, aka default. Not feeling my swing today, to be honest, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. I have spent 10 minutes in the, the driving range after making the transition over from Rory. And my swing is not as good as I would like it to be. But hopefully we can still put on an exhibition golf here. But this course here is by Eye Doctor, and in my opinion, it is the best version of St Andrews. It's a course I've had the, the pleasure of walking around many a time, never played it. But it is situated in St Andrews, which is in Fife, Scotland. And hole number one is called Burn. So let's see how we manage to, to do here. We've got a five mile per hour wind. What a beautiful looking course this is. The crowd just makes it look even better. There's a fast squiggly line as well. But it's going to work out really, really well. And that should leave us no more than a pitch shot into these tough greens. Look at these sloping greens here. Very, very challenging. So we're really going to loft this lob wedge up try and get this running up towards the pin preferably on the right hand side of it let it filter down towards the flag stick it is going to shoot hard right off the club face here due to the slope there's a fantastic execution this should work out well go on go on run down just checking up quicker than with a light I really expected that to, to filter down this slope more than that, but we've got a tricky downhill putt, 10 footer. This is going to break left. Certainly don't want to play with this with too much pace. Green speeds are 164. Is that going to turn? It should start to turn. And what a fantastic opening putt that is. The crowd showing their appreciation when we do move to one under part. Bryson DeChambeau currently at the top of the leaderboard. So, hole number two here. Hardest hole in the course according to the stroke index here. And this one is called Dyke. Very tight fairway. The ball will kick to the right hand side here as well. It's another good swing. This should kick right. I hope it's not going to kick too hard right. Didn't kick right at all. Just managing to avoid that mound which would have landed to a ball to the right. But once again, look at the pin location here and the challenge of these greens. This is why I love this course. Five mile per hour wind. Uphill. Just going to deal off this nine iron up a touch. Just looking to land this on the fringe. So aiming left here because it will kick hard right off that slope if we do achieve to get there. Once again, decent strike. Oh, it's getting really held up. It's not going to have the legs to get there where we're bang on line to. So that's going to be a tri uh, tricky chip shot here from about 12 yards out. Nine yards out. This one's really going to break hard right off the club face. The green's also sloping to the right. That should, that's got a chance. Oh, it checked up really, really quickly there. And that's going to leave us a four foot putt. Certainly no gimme. But we do manage to drive that right into the heart of the cup with pace and power and accuracy. And we are going to remain at one under par. Four shots behind the shambo. Hole number three. This is another fantastic hole. And this one is called Cart Gate Out. But why? I've played this course once before. And it's an absolute gem of a course. Like I say, in my honest opinion, 
Some of you may not agree, but it is the best version of St. Andrew's Old Course available to us on the game. So once again, it's going to be no more in a pitch shot. Tough pin location again, just looking to use that slope to our advantage here. It should land on that slope and hopefully it doesn't kick too aggressively forward for us. I've pushed that one slightly right. Oh, it's took a firm kick. It didn't check up at all. And we're going to have a putt for about 15 feet here for our birdie. 12 feet. This one's makeable, though. Is that going to turn? It looks good. And we do drop that right into the heart of the cup once again for our second birdie of the round. That puts us up to tied fifth. Marston's takes the lead at the top of the leaderboard. And we progress to hole number four, which is called Ginger Beer. Wind's very, very mild. I've once again, pushed that slightly right. I think we could well be in trouble here. This should kick left, though. He says, oh, favourable kick, but we're still going to hold up in the light rough, unfortunately. Still not going to be anything more than a, a wedge into the green. Just going to deal off this. We've got a 92 to 97%. into a four mile per hour wind. Ball's going to go slightly to the left here off the club face due to the light. Good execution. It didn't move as hard left as I expected it to. The yardage is going to be really good. That's going to give us a pin high putt here. Just trickles on a little bit more than I would have liked. But once again, we've got a birdie opportunity. A, tricker, a trickier putt this time from 17 feet. This one is going to turn harder to the right. Tell you something, no. Oh, just burns the right edge of the cup and didn't drop. We are going to pick up our second par of the round and remain two under par. Tiger Woods is making moves on the leaderboard, as is Alex Noren. Hole number five is called Hole O' Cross Out, and this is a par five. My only criticism about this course is a few of the, just take that swing, not a bad swing, once again that little push right at the top, um, is the yardages aren't 100% accurate, I would say they're about 90 to 95% across the board, but I do know how tough it is to get these um, holes bang on yardage, and obviously they do change from time to time. The course will vary in length in each hole for different competitions. I think this is bunker all over it. Too much chatting there. Wasn't a clean swing either. Once again, pushing it right. That's going to kick into the bunker. And that's going to be a nasty shot because this bunker is steep. Going to have to flop this out from close range. Just going to fully loft this up. This is going to have to be a death touch. Probably looking at about 70% here, 75%. Oh, I put a fast on it. And I got an 80% swing. That's going to be a tricky putt for birdie here. 13 footer. Breaking both ways, but definitely breaking hard right here. That didn't turn right at all. That putt just did not turn right at all, despite the severe breaking lines that we were we're given there so unfortunately we don't pick up the birdie and it's just going to be a tap in part no change at the top of the leaderboard we are still currently two under par and we do progress on to hole number six which is called Hedery. two mile per hour wind so the conditions are really really mild here there's a really good swing. Certainly swinging better than what I did in the driving range. My tempo and swing lines were, were way off. But like I say, my swing and Rory McIlroy 
is completely different to my swing here. So just going to try and get this gap wedge close. Wind in the slope is going to move us to the right. Hopefully we've got enough club in hand here. We're on a slight uphill slope. Good execution. Wind should take us round. I like the look of this. Stay up. Stay up. Stay. Oh, this is bang on. It should turn back towards the pin. No, it sat down. Fantastic approach shot there. And hopefully we pick up birdie number three from six feet here. That sat down really, really quick for this game. Well read putt there. We execute it well. And we pick up. Our third birdie and we move into the top three at three under par. Hole number seven is called high. And this is a short par four. Just looking to find the gap here between the two bunkers ideally. Because I reckon with that wind we've got enough club to get up there. Oh, once again there's that push right. We have managed to thread the eye of the needle there despite a, a slight push at the top. It's going to set us up again once again with a pitch shot. Just going to basically fully loft this lob wedge up and try and get this as close as possible to the pin to set up a birdie opportunity. Stay up, stay up. Oh, it's short. It should stay up the top part, but that's not as close as I would have liked. Ball went quite hard right there, despite a good clean swing. So 14 footer. This one's breaking to the right downhill. I like the look of this. I like the look of this. What a putt that is, and we do pick up birdie number four, and that puts us joint top with Tiger Woods at the Dunhill Championship 2019. Absolutely outstanding to see Tiger up there. Hole number, t uh, hole number 10, hole number 8 is referred to as short. This is a par 3, obviously. And it is the shortest hole in the course. This wind should take us round. Just apply the touch of fade. This is bang on it, by the way. This could go in. This has got an opportunity of being holed out. Oh, very, very close. It is going to give us a three to four foot putt for birdie. Five footer. And this should be birdie number five here. It is going to turn to the left. Oh, wow, that turned a lot more aggressively than I expected to. That is a poor putt. And we should drop this for our par though. Disappointed with that birdie opportunity. I have been watching moments of the, the Dunhill Cup. Bill Murray is really looking old. Um, really like Bill Murray as an actor. Loved him as in Ghostbusters. Um, but why? Very surprised at how old he's looking. So hole number nine is a short par four, and it is referred to as end. It is called end. There we go. Good swing. Should kick on in between these two bunkers up here and leave us another pitch shot. I'm sure it's referred to as end due to the, it's the end of the front nine. And it is going to be a pitch. It's lofting this up, 54 yards uphill. Wind should move us slightly to the right, eh, to the left. Great execution. It should run out a few. It's going to come up a little bit short. Just touched that up, lofted that up. One touch too many. We do have a birdie opportunity from eight foot here. The galleries. Stand in anticipation here. Tough putt. A lot of turn in this. Go on, turn, turn. And what a putt that is. We are really putting well today. And we do pick up birdie number five. We'll move to top of the leaderboard on our own. One shot lead over Tiger. Hole number 10, short par four again. And this is called Bobby Jones. That's what I was swinging like in the driving range. 
It's going to go a hell of a lot to the right here, more than a light. It looks like we're on a fairly flat surface, right in line with the flag. This is going to be a flop shot, 45 yards out. Just going to loft this up a touch. We are on an uphill slope as well, so this should, this should be close to the flag. Decent execution. Should run out well for me. Can sit down any time now. Great execution there. And that should be another birdie on the card. To give us a two-shot lead here from four feet. Unless Tiger is making moves. Burke. The Australian sitting in second place now. Hole number 11 is high in. This is a 174 yard par 3. And the, the yardage is bang on here, by the way. Absolutely bang on. Just going to apply. Touch a drop. Is it seen just to counteract this wind? Lofted it up. Pushed that right slightly, but I tell you what. That draw is doing me a favour. This should be close. It should get up that slope. Go on, get up, get up, stay up. Very good shot there from the tee box. It's going to give us another birdie opportunity from nine feet. Just pushing things slightly to the right. Something I'll need to iron out. Oh, that drops on the edge, but once again, it's a well-read putt. Really happy with my putt line today as well. And we move to seven under par. Three-shot lead over the chasing pack. Hole number 12 is called Hedery In. And this is a short par four as well. This is from the back tees, guys. But St. Andrews isn't the longest course in the world. I think in total it's only 7,300 odd yards. Just try to find the, the gap between these two bunkers. A bit of luck involved there after that swing line. But we found it. And once again it's going to be another pitch. From 69 yards out. Just going to loft this up a fair bit. Tough green this one. Great execution. Has he got the legs? How's that going so far left? It's worked out really, really well. Didn't expect that to go as left as that. The wind really manipulated that in the air, I can only imagine. Nine footer. It's got a bit of turn in it to the left. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, it's another one. It just burns the edge. Gutted not to pick up birdie there. But we are going to get the tap in part. And remain at seven under par. As we move on to hole number 13 with a three shot lead. This is a longer par four and this is called hole across in. Wind's picking up again. Didn't like how that club came back there. Once again, pushed it slightly right, but this should this should be fine. The wind's going to correct that for us. And it's actually a prime location to go and attack this flag. For seven iron. 167 yards. Just going to loft this up a touch. We've played a touch. A draw there, just a minimal touch draw, just to try and counteract this slope at our feet. Tell you what, I like the way this is tracking. Has it got the legs? This should turn towards the pin. Come on, keep going. And what a fantastic shot that is, guys. Hopefully you appreciated that golf shot there. If you did, please spam that like button for me. And that is set up a three foot putt. Once again, no, these are missable. I have missed a similar putt like this today earlier on, but not this time. We do pick up another birdie. And we move to eight under par, four shot lead over the chasing pack. The most of them are in the clubhouse now. We move on to hole number 14, which is called long for obvious reasons. This is the longest hole on the course. I'm just coming over to the, the other fairway here. This fairway is not part of this hole. 
per Aginomi. I'll try and find any loophole I can in any course to gain an advantage. And that should now set up a perfect two wood. Just going to have to loft this up a touch. Just don't want this to run off the back of the green. I don't think we will. We've lofted this up. Come on. Get down. Get down. Is it going to stay on this green? Oh, no. It's going to catch that slope, is it? Oh, wow. It is too. So, so close to staying on there. And it is going to set up. Once again, I'm going to go with a flop shot. Delicate shot here. Don't want to be too far past the pin. Played that well. Probably about a six footer, seven footer, six footer. Nothing in this at all. And we do pick up another birdie. That moves us to nine under par. The only one left out in the course, I think, was Burke. In hole number 15. This is called Cart Gate Inn. This is a mid-range par four. Good swing. Should find the center of the fairway. Should kick straight forward for us. Which it does. And that's going to probably set up a, a wedge or a nine iron into this green here. There we go. Gap wedge just made for this. Just going to loft this up a touch. A three mile per hour wind should take us around just ever so slightly. Slope's going to take us a little bit to the right. Oh, I've pulled that left a little bit. It's a dirty swing. I bet your yardage is going to be bang on to yet. Ah. That's what I was swinging like at the start of the video when I said to you that's what like most of my swings were like in the driving range. Just not felt my swing to date, to be honest, on this game. But we've got a 16 footer. It's going to turn to the left. This one's make but I'll tell you what, if we played this firm enough, that's in. What a putt that is, and we do pick up the birdie. And we move to 10 under par. Hole number 16 is called corner off the dike. For those of you who don't know what a dike is, it's a, it's a wall. It's made with, with uh, rocks. A dike wall. There's a good swing. It should be right down the centre of the fairway. It's actually a, a die in art. It's great to see a dike wall when it's done properly. Once again, it's a little pitch. Oh, don't want to be short of that slope. Just lofting that up one touch here. Just looking to land this about five feet short of the pin and let it run out. Great execution. That has came up so, so short. That is coming all the way back down. This could actually come off the green here. Nope. Despite a fantastic execution there, just didn't have the yardage. So a 28 foot putt, one foot up hill. This one's going to break more to the right, I would say. It is breaking multiple ways. Have I played that firm enough? It's online. It's on. Oh, I just didn't have enough porridge there. Read the, the line to perfection. Just didn't have enough weight on the putt. We are going to pick up another part. So as we move on to hole number 17, probably one of the most famous holes in golf, and this is called Road, for obvious reasons. But this is a fantastic course here. Just try to cut as much of this fairway as possible. Wind should take us slightly to the left. That ball's going right for some reason, but not the, the, the best of swing lines there. I thought that would actually went left. For some reason, it's went more to the right, and we are going to be in a heavy rough, and that we're not reaching this green and two now. We have made a mess of this. Two iron. 
may kick on to the green here. It's the problem is, is it going to get up the slope? Push that right again, but it should be okay. This has got a chance. Is it going to get up the first plateau? Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, no, it's not. That's going to come all the way back down. Watch this. All the way off the green. Very realistic. And this is now a nasty shot here because we've got to come over the slope, over the bunker. Don't want to loft this lob wedge up too much. Oh, look at that execution. Please sit down. Please sit down. Check up. Oh, it's not checked up. Just took the, the kick off the, the light rough. Clearly took the spin out of the ball. But we are going to have a power opportunity from 12 feet. Don't want to drop a shot now at this stage of the round. Breaking both ways, just favouring the left edge. That needs to turn back. It has done, and what a par putt that is. What a par putt that is, and we do manage to save par. So let's move on to the final hole. Of the best course in the world, in my opinion. I am Scottish, so I'm slightly biased, and this is called Tom Morris. It's a short par four. Good drive and a pitch here should set up a birdie opportunity. Beautiful swing. That's really going to travel down this fairway. Crowd appreciating that drive, and that is going to be another pitch shot. 42 yards is going to be a flop. A lot closer. So lofting this flop shot up. It is uphill. Great execution. Oh, wow. How's that went so far? Jeez. Despite loft. Oh, wow. This is going to be a tough birdie putt. Would love to sink this for the crowd here. 24 footer. Up six inches. A lot of break in this. Would love to drain this for the birdie though and give the crowd... Something to cheer about as we do walk away with a win. Needs to turn. Tell you what, guys. Is it got legs? Oh, wow. What a putt. And what a way to finish the Alfred Dunhill Championship 2019 with the win. That is it for today's video, guys. This was just a one-round event. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.